So I remember when I got my first guinea pigs, I actually was 11 or 12, I think. And at that point, there wasn't really the internet or like all of the information on the internet about pets. So there was a lot of stuff that I kind of missed that I didn't know also because I was 12. But there were things that I missed. And one of those was that I was gonna have to cut my guinea pig's nails. So this is something that I know is hard for a lot of new owners to get confident in. You can take your guinea pig to the vet to have their nails cut, but since this is something that generally needs done about monthly, it's really worth learning how to do it yourself. And I figured it out when I was 12, so I promise you can figure it out yourself. And today I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to clip your guinea pig's nails yourself. Hey there, my name is Allison. Welcome to the Tiny Herd. This entire space is dedicated to teaching you how to give your guinea pigs and rabbits the best life possible. I make new videos every week, so if it sounds like something you would be interested in, make sure to subscribe to my channel. All the relevant links and other goodies will be down below in the description box so you can check that out. Today we are covering all of the basics of nail clipping. Again, this is totally something that you can do yourself. I totally believe in you, you can do it. I understand why it is so nerve wracking because you don't wanna hurt your guinea pig. If you're not confident in handling your piggy, it can make it just that much more kind of overwhelming and nerve wracking, but I'm gonna give you some tips. We're gonna go step by step and I'm gonna give you everything that you need to try to clip your guinea pig's nails for the first time. Every time you do it after that, you're just gonna get better and better. So let's get into it. So before we jump straight into the how-to portion of this, I wanna cover some of the general basics about clipping nails. So guinea pig nails will constantly grow throughout their life and if they aren't clipped, they can get overgrown, grow into their feet, cause all kinds of health issues. So they generally need clipped on every like month, month and a half basis. That's kind of just a, a general rule that I follow. I clip my guinea pig's nails about once a month, but specific guinea pigs will have different speeds that their nails grow. I have some pigs that their nails grow really fast, some grow at a slower speed. So you really just have to keep an eye on it and clip them when they need to be clipped. So the main concern when you're clipping nails, and this is kind of why this can be scary for new owners or really anybody, even if you're not a new owner, if you've never clipped nails before, this is the part that kind of makes it a scary process. Guinea pigs have a quick inside their nails, that's what it's called. It's basically like a blood vessel, similar to like how we have nail beds. It's basically a vein that goes, or blood vessel that goes through the center of your guinea pig's nail. And when you are clipping the nail, you wanna cut off the portion that the quick is not running through. Because if you cut the quick, then your guinea pig will bleed and it will hurt a little bit. And it's just kind of a traumatic experience for everyone involved. Because of this, a lot of people will have their vet cut their guinea pig's nails so that they don't run the risk of cutting the quick and kind of just to make the process easier. In my area, a nail trim is about 10 to $15 per guinea pig, but that can really add up over time if you're taking your guinea pig every single month to get their nails clipped, as well as taking a lot of your time to go back and forth to your vet's office. And if you have multiple guinea pigs, for example, I have seven, it would not be practical for me to take all seven of my guinea pigs to the vet every single month to get their nails clipped. So I have figured out how to cut nails myself. I promise you can cut your guinea pigs nails yourself as well. You just take some practice, take some time to get used to the process, become confident in it, but you can totally do it. So let's go ahead and jump into showing you how to do it yourself. So let's cover what supplies you're gonna need to clip your nails yourself. There are four things that I recommend you have on hand for this process. First up, of course, is a pair of nail clippers. Now, I use nail clippers that are specifically meant for small pets. I don't use human ones, but there are plenty of people that use a nice, sharp pair of human nail clippers, and it works just fine. Whether you want pet nail clippers, human nail clippers, you just want a nice, sharp pair that is going to work well, not crush or smash the nail, we'll just cut the tip right off. It'll make it easier through the whole process if you just have a nice, sharp pair that is ready to go. Something else I always recommend having on hand is styptic powder. This is basically like a powder that stops bleeding. So I mentioned before that the scariest part of clipping nails is trying not to cut the quick, but I will tell you now, if you do cut the quick, it is absolutely not the end of the world. It is a little scary, your pet will bleed, but styptic powder will solve that issue basically. If you do happen to cut the quick of one of the nails, you just take the styptic powder, dip the nail in it, and it will stop the bleeding right away. So this is something good to have. It can make the 
stressful situation of a cut get a quick getting cut not as scary or overwhelming when you can just stop the bleeding and kind of move on the other two things you might want to have on hand are not totally required but they can be really nice to have the first one is a flashlight this can be used to help you see the quick on guinea pigs who have dark colored nails so some guinea pigs if they are like brown or black they could have uh, dark colored feet and a lot of times their nails will be dark colored as well so using a flashlight to shine behind the nail will show you kind of the darker part of the quick and can make it a lot easier for you to avoid cutting the quick on these piggies the other thing you might want to have is a nail file a lot of people that use human nail clippers will keep a nail file on hand so that they can file down any sharp edges. Since I use pet nail clippers, they don't usually leave a sharp edge on the end of the nail, so I don't necessarily use a nail file every time that I clip nails, but it is nice to have in case anything weird happens or there does end up being a sharp bit because you don't want your guinea pig cutting themselves with their own nails. Once you have all your supplies ready, then you are ready to get your guinea pig out. Now before you get your guinea pig out, I definitely recommend having all your supplies gathered and ready. I usually set up a little space on a table where I have easy access to everything and I can reach anything that I would need while I have the guinea pig on my lap. Once you get your guinea pig out, you want to get it comfortable on your lap. And if you are not confident in handling your guinea pig, whether you just got guinea pigs or you have a, a particularly squirmy piggy, you might want to get someone else to help you if you are clipping nails for the first time. Or again, if you have a particularly squirmy pig, it could just make the entire process easier. So if you do want someone to help you, you can just have them hold the guinea pig for you. I usually hold the piggy up against my body with one hand underneath their front arms and then the other hand supporting their bum area. And this keeps their feet forward and their nails out where you can reach them, but it doesn't freak the guinea pig out. They're not on their back or anything like that and you just can easily access their nails without overly stressing them out. Now, if this is the first time you've ever attempted clipping guinea pig nails, I would definitely recommend making sure you can see the quick in your guinea pig's nails before you try to start cutting. It's a lot less stressful if you know what you're looking for, you can tell that you can spot the quick, you know what's going on before you get those clippers anywhere near your pet, it will make it so much less stressful for you. So before you even pick up the clippers, take some time examining your piggy's feet. If they have dark nails, get that flashlight out and see if you can figure out where the quick is. This will just make the process go a lot smoother when you can just quickly cut the nails when you know exactly what you're looking for. So you have your supplies, you have your piggy ready to go, and you know how to spot the quick. So now it is time to get a little brave and clip your nails for the first time. So to clip nails, basically you want to cut off the end of the nail. You don't want to get super close to the quick because again, you don't want to accidentally cut the quick. So I usually leave a little bit of space after the quick. It's kind of like if you think of your own fingernails, you want a little bit of space on the end of your nail. Otherwise it will hurt if it's right down to the nail bed, if that makes sense. So I leave a little bit of space so that the piggies have uh, end of their nails basically to scratch or anything that they need to do with their nails. This first time you're clipping nails, just go nail by nail, take your time. You don't want to rush because rushing is when things like cutting the quick happen. So don't stress your piggy out, don't stress yourself out, just take your time, go nail by nail. If you have a particularly squirmy or uncomfortable piggy, you can just do one paw at a time. You could do one paw per day, whatever it takes to get comfortable doing this yourself, building your own confidence, because the more that you do this, the better you will get. Nail clipping takes practice. Your piggies will get more used to it the more you do it, and you will get more confident in your skills the more you do it. So that is the entire process on clipping nails. I know it's pretty simple and straightforward, but it is still very nerve wracking. And I know that worrying about cutting the quick is what makes so many people so nervous about doing this themselves. So before I ended this video, I really wanted to mention here that if you cut the quick, it is absolutely not the end of the world. Your guinea pig is not going to hate you. You're not the worst owner ever. Anyone who's owned guinea pigs for any period of time and cuts their own nails has cut the quick at some point. You want to avoid it, but it's not something that's going to scar your guinea pig for life or anything like that. Just take that styptic powder, stop the bleeding, take your time with the rest of the nails and be extra careful not to cut the quick. And then for about the next week or so, just make sure your piggy's cage stays extra clean. Make sure to keep an eye on that nail so that it doesn't get infected. But in general, you don't have to worry about anything crazy happening. You don't have to worry about like your guinea pig's nail falling off or anything like that. 
Just make sure it doesn't get infected and it will go back to normal pretty quickly. So I hope today's video will give you the confidence you need to attempt to clip your guinea pig's nails yourself next time it needs done. If you are a new owner and want to learn more about guinea pig care, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I also post regular content over on my website and on my Instagram. So make sure to check out the description box for those links. I also have more videos that you can check out. They will be here on the screen for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.